Universal Audio Fatso, like its analog cousin, has four types of processors. There's the soft clipper, the compressor, the warmth, and the tranny. I've got a session in Digital Performer. I've got the Fatso Senior on the drum bus, and I'm going to go through each of the four processors and explain them in detail with audio examples. Now some of these examples may get a little extreme, but I do that so you can really hear the plugin working. The first processor is basically on all the time, the soft clipping. Crank the input gain to engage the clipping processor, and turn down the output gain to match the level. Tranny emulates the effects of a hardware transformer, as well as the low frequency bump of analog tape. The effects of Tranny can be very subtle or very present depending on how you set up the plugin. I can hit the Tranny processor hard by turning up the input gain and adjusting for the increase in volume with the output gain. Another option with the Tranny is the Tranny level. This pushes the tranny processor even harder and generates a lot of harmonic distortion. Now let's hear the track with and without the fatso. Now onto the compressor. There are four discrete compressors, and they can be combined in seven different combinations. For these drums, I like the tracking setting. I can get more compression by turning up the input control, but this also feeds the clipping circuit, which will generate more distortion. If I don't want that, I can adjust the compressor threshold instead. Now watch the gain reduction meter as I engage the high pass filter. Since I'm filtering out the low frequencies from the side chain, there is less signal getting compressed. I'll settle on 120 hertz. Attack and release for most compression modes can be adjusted too with predetermined settings. I'm going to stick with a 30 millisecond attack and 50 millisecond release and add some output gain, engage the tranny, and turn down the tranny level. The drums now sound much louder, but the peaks are still below the unprocessed peaks. The warmth processor is controlled by the warmth button, which is basically a threshold control and you can get more of the warmth effect by turning up the input gain. You can see how much high frequency reduction we are getting with the warmth meter. With the warmth in combination with the soft clipping, I can imitate the sound of hitting tape hard enough to distort. Now 
I'm going to combine all the processors of the Fatso with and without the rest of the tracks. One thing to keep in mind when using all the processors at once is how they interact. Cranking up the tranny level will send more signal into the warmth and compressor processors and may require you to adjust their thresholds. As you can see in here, the Fatso powered plugin has a lot to offer and can create sounds that no other device can and is available only from Universal Audio, only on the U82.